we are going to send things back out to my girl, Trisha, and she has Haley. She's a sports psychologist on the show with us this morning. Good morning. Look at you. Trisha, Hi guys. Hustling. Always uh, hustling. Okay. So we, we've got back to school going on. You know, our, a lot of the Eagle County kids went back uh, almost a week and a half, two weeks ago. Other schools around the nation are going back. So Dr. Haley Perlis not only helps athletes perform at their best, but she can also help families if the kids are experiencing a little bit of anxiety right now, especially, you know, going back to school is always kind of th this anxious feeling. What's it going to be like, but especially after COVID and 18, 19 months of this? Juju Betis, Phi formerly, RS2s and any small non flashy nips are what are working. Um, also, San Juan worms are going to work anytime after it rains too. So maybe after last night was seeing that rain and that lightning, that might be a good option for this morning. But please feel like feel free to give that the shop a call and actually, you know, chat with them the morning that maybe you're interested in going or if you need to get, you know, bolster your fly box, but they're going to they're gonna have all the details and they have all the up-to-the-minute information. So you can call them at 970-845-8090 or log on to flyfishingoutfitters.net, but make sure to hit those guys up. Now, let's talk about what's going on with that weather. If you're going to be out and doing some fly fishing today, it's just going to be, it's going to be sunny all day long. That's really what we're expecting to see. And you know, also in Eagle Ranch and they have things that are spread out all the way, um, from this evening to Sunday. So there's going to be uh, a meet and greet followed by a natural wine tasting tonight. And then Saturday morning, um, they'll have some educational presentations at the Capitol Theater. There's also going to be some cooking classes. There's going to be a four course culinary experience with the assembly featuring wild mushrooms. So it's going to be a really exciting weekend over there in Eagle. And then even like Bonfire Brewing in concert with Seven Hermits is preparing a special beer, which will be available. And then also Mountain Kombucha is preparing a special kombucha brew to introduce to the community. So this is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be happening this weekend and coming up here shortly, we are going to be chatting with one of the speakers, which I'm very excited to do. But right now we are going to send things back out out to my girl Trisha and she has Haley she's a sports psychologist on the show with us this morning good morning look at you Trisha, hi guys hustling, always uh, hustling okay so we we've got back to school going on you know our a lot of the Eagle County kids went back uh, almost a week and a half two weeks ago other schools around the nation are going back so Dr. Haley Perlis not only helps athletes perform at their best but she can also help families if the kids are experiencing a little bit of anxiety right now especially you know going back to school is always kind of th this anxious feeling what's it going to be like but especially after covid and 18 19 months of this what are you hearing what are some of the things that like people are calling you about right now anxiety 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 and it doesn't matter whether anxiety is for the covid or for back to school anxiety is the same feeling whatever you're doing so the answer is the same the only way to conquer fear and anxiety is to really focus on gaining confidence and a sense of control. So I know it's hard oh, to do, wow. but if we can help our kids go to school feeling they can, they're confident in their behaviors, hygiene and following the rules. And if they feel like they have a sense of control over that too, then that's going to help them focus on again, what they can do. So if we can focus on the confidence and control and less about the fear of COVID, then that will help them bring in that. But, but that confidence building piece, you know, that thing, I always wonder, you know, are people born with it? Can it be taught? You know, what can we do to really, you know, instill that? Behaviors. In, okay. Behaviors. So what do, what do our kids need to do? Wash our hands, wear a mask, and follow the rules. Like those are behaviors that they know that they can do. Okay. So if we focus on that, those things, and then they feel a sense of control as well. Okay. Also, yeah, you know what, because there are so many different things and especially at different ages, you know, there's so many different pressures, especially for middle school and everything to high school as well. Um, what are some of the pushback that you might get from some of the kids if you tell them, 
confidence. And well, I don't know. I don't know that I'm going to use the word confidence, but really just engage in, in again those behaviors. What do you have control over? What do you? What is your? What is within your ability to go to school and feel as safe as you possibly can? Focus on that and less on the fear. Yeah, and you have, of course, a, a sports and sports psychology background. So how could we kind of fall back on some of the things we learn in sports to help with this? And a lot of kids have participated maybe in some type of sport or group activity that they could, you know, draw from. Yeah, no, I love that because I use sport as an analogy, as an analogy. And COVID is the ultimate opponent or obstacle in the course. So what do we do to beat our opponent? We learn everything we can about it. And I know there's a lot still to learn and a lot of unknowns, but we have to do, like, watch game tape. We understand yeah. strengths and weaknesses, and then we look at our strengths and weaknesses and how can we tackle our opponent. Offensive think, play. Yeah, and I think also if you're having this conversation with your kids or your kids are coming to you with this, just the fact that you're talking about it, you're having the conversation, you're opening it up, can do wonders too and Instead then talk about school it up. talk yeah. about school what they're learning at school their greatest friends like let's not just focus on COVID let's talk about school yes yes because it's all about learning <laughs> all right okay all right Haley if people want to find out more what's the best resource for you just my website www.drhaleyperlis.com okay all right we gotta let her go she's going up on a hike <laughs> I'm heading this way to head down to eyepieces and everything but um yeah so thank you so much and uh just a great resource from our valley to talk whether it's with your kids or to achieve your best whether it's your sports best or business best Dr. Healy Perlis life's can best. help you out life's <laughs> best okay thank you so much we'll take it back to you guys in the studio Yes, thank you so much, ladies. That was awesome. Thank you, Dr. Haley, and thank you, Tricia.